What's up guys, welcome back to another Bed Wars video, and today I'll be showing you how to TNT jump in Minecraft Bed Wars. So the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously grab some TNT, which you can find in the shop. And... Let's quickly get a bed defense on here. Okay, so... TNT jumping is a way that you can travel around the map pretty quickly without having to rely on blocks or other things to slowly bridge yourself around. Alright, so for example, as you can see, pretty far away, say someone's coming, what you can do is place down a TNT, and then jump. Boom, just like that. And you can make it to the other side. Now, there's easier ways to... Oh. Alright, well. Alright, anyway, as I was saying, there's easier ways to do this. You can't just place it down and then randomly jump and expect to get somewhere. So, there's a certain amount of time you're going to have to wait, and it's kind of difficult. You can also do it jumping upwards though, so watch, watch that. Like that, see? So, there's different ways that you can do it. I mean, that way was obviously more difficult, but I mean, it's just all about the right timing. I say, if you, one of the ways that can make it easier is if you get the TNT countdown. Okay, I'll show you guys how to do that in a second. Uh, let's see. So, you're gonna click let right shift. Open up mods, go right here to search, TNT, countdown, and you're going to click enable, and that's pretty much it. So I'd say once the once the countdown gets to kind of the red point, actually maybe a little yellow and kind of orange, I'd say that's when you jump. Alright, so <clears throat> let me get some more clips of uh, doing that for you. So once you feel like you've gotten pretty familiar with TNT jumping, what you can actually do is go to the Bedwars lobby and they actually have an option for you to practice TNT jumping. So you're going to go here, click on Fireball TNT jumping, change the settings to TNT, place it down, and wait for and then jump. Perfect. Just like that. Once you feel like you've mastered this, then you can go try it out in game and use it to destroy your opponents. And honestly, it's really, 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 really good to use in the game because Instead of having to bridge everywhere, you can quickly surprise your opponents by jumping out of nowhere. And that's just really awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and make sure to like and subscribe.